Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about faux freckles. If you have them naturally, you might hate them. And if you don't have them, you might want them. It is the case for me. So after scouring the interwebs, I gathered today here every possible way to create faux freckles that I know of. If I miss some of them, you can leave them down below. Okay, so we're starting off with the temporary methods which are typically applied over makeup. Here, I'm keeping my makeup very natural and fresh and juicy. Okay, so the first method is the brow pencil, which is probably one of the most popular options. My skin was having kind of a hard time picking up the brow product, so I applied some mattifying powder and it worked way better. I think the shade that I'm using is slightly too light. It's not working super well for my skin tone, but after layering it for a couple minutes, it turned out not too bad. It's not my favorite way to create full freckles, but it's not a bad one either. This came out very subtle and I typically prefer a bolder freckle look. Also, the pencil wasn't giving me much precision. You kind of have to press hard to get the pigment out and then it creates a bigger dot than you originally wanted. Overall, I think it looks cute, but she's too shy and doesn't last very long. By the way, I wanted to use the Hannah Montana transitions as a rating system, but I figured you'd all be sick of hearing it at the end. The next one is a felt tip liquid, and I had in mind the Lime Crime Freckle Pen for this one, but I very unfortunately do not have it, and I would love to try it. So instead, I'm using my Glossier Brow Flick, which would be a good alternative if it was in a different shade than black. Even for my brows, I really regret picking up this shade. It's just too dark. Let's be honest, this is clownery loves. I was trying to tone it down with even more makeup, but it just wasn't working. Cut the cameras. Deadass. Let's just forget this ever happened. Thank you, next. Okay, the next method is a colored brow gel or pomade. I'm using the ABH dip brow gel, which kind of acts as both. This stuff is super potent. Potent? Potent? This stuff is very potent. So I tried to wipe down most of the product on the back of my hand, and then I used the wand to deposit the product. But unfortunately, mine was super dried out. I'm not really sure what ended up happening so um let the rain fall down to wake my dreams let it wash away my sanity sadly we have to stop here or else uh, we're gonna get copyrighted so the second time around i just went straight in and it worked like a charm The next one is the Freck OG Liquid. I have a review up on my channel if you want to see what I think of it. So we're going to go over this one pretty fast. The biggest perk of this stuff is how long wearing it is. It will last you through a long, sweaty, and hot day. However, the outcome of what it looks like is really like different from a person to another. It's kind of up to you and your skills of how you apply them. But it's a pretty user-friendly product. Very hard to mess up. I like it a lot. Next, we have cream contour. All of the following clips are filmed in slow-mo and I'm dying because it was not intentional. I kind of want to add some classical music and let you watch this. It's so funny. Okay, that is enough. So I tried using different tools with this medium. The stipple brush was a complete letdown. The pointed brush worked fantastic. And now we are trying it with a bobby pin. And I had no hopes for this one since the pin is pretty thick. But look at this. I feel like this isn't bad at all. I really like how this turned out. Now, we're going to be trying it with a textured sponge. This is the kind of sponge you want to use. It's typically used in SFX makeup. I didn't have access to it at the time, so I tried using this um, brush, this, no, sorry, sponge that you use to clean like stubborn food and um, it was a flop, didn't work, nope. Yeah. 
Next is eyeshadow. This is also one of the most popular ways to create faux freckles and it's for a reason. Everyone has an eyeshadow palette with neutral shades and a small liner brush. So you can easily create depth by using different shades and layering them. I also like to create depth by wetting the brush to make the shadows more pigmented. Oh yeah, this is a trick that I use when my brush gets too fat. I guess to get it back to like its pointiness, I use my brow gel and then I shape it. I wait for it to dry and then it usually works. I really like how this turned out. This is easily one of my favorite methods of creating faux freckles. I also tried it with a bobby pin and I wasn't a fan. It doesn't look as good as when I tried it with the cream contour. And the stipple brush did not even bother to dry. Moving on to contour powder and a toothbrush. I learned this trick from Desi Perkins, but I think it's commonly used in SFX makeup. I don't know if I did it wrong, but I really don't like how it turned out and it got super messy. Oh my gosh, what's that? Instant coffee? Really? Yes! Last week I posted a video showing this trick so you can click the eye to check it out. It's way more detailed. Basically, I've been drinking a lot of whipped coffee and the stains of the coffee gave my sister the idea to use it as a liquid to create faux freckles. I realize this is a stronger freckle look, but you can definitely tone it down and adjust it to your liking. I also posted a trick on TikTok and some people were not here for it, which is okay. I personally like it and I just want to say every time that I say I like something, it's just my personal opinion. It does not mean that it is the truth and that you have to share it. Not to see it. There must be something that features. You'll find the beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet it. Let me paint a picture. I see they don't understand. Feeling like Picasso. She brushing against my hands. Seeing you from around the way. You think give me the time of day. You be making moves that yeah, who really care what Simon say? All the bad things, girl, I had to look past that. Call yourself a dime. I'm just trying to get my next is the Clairol root touch up spray. I saw this TikTok a while ago and I swear the next day I went out and I bought the spray. I am easily influenced to buy stuff i will give you money but anyways it doesn't really work i don't know if i'm doing it wrong or you need to know witchcraft to do this but needless to say i inhaled a ton of chemicals and my face is brown so i would skip on this one We are now upgrading to the semi-permanent methods. The first one being the Maybelline Brow Tattoo. I bought this after seeing it on TikTok. Are we surprised? I have mine in the shade dark brown, but the blonde or light brown version would probably work better since this one can turn green. And then you leave it on for two hours, then you rub it away. And that's it. I think I over rubbed it, unfortunately. Also, this claims to last three days on the brows, but it only lasts about 24 hours, which is cool, but honestly too much trouble and wait for that amount of lasting power. Next is henna freckles which is also pronounced henna. I didn't get to try this one, so thanks to your mom, Ashley, for the talk. Henna is a dye typically used in many African and Asian cultures as a celebration, whether it's like a wedding or, for example, coming up very soon, the end of Ramadan. It's used to dye the skin, nails and hair anyways that's pretty much all i have to say i think the freckles look very cute and i like them and now we have fake tan freckles i'm using the bondi sans tan in dark and i was scared this would turn green because of the tint of the actual foam but it was fine after all 
A tip is to wait for the foam to become liquid because when you create a dot on your face with foam, it most likely will expand and be bigger than you wanted. You have to let it develop for 6 hours and then you wash it off. And that is the finished result! And I am in love! This looks so good and it lasts the longest. It will show through makeup if you wear makeup over it. And I'm so happy with the result and I will definitely do it again. And lastly, tattoo freckles are a thing. You have to be extremely committed to get them, but hey, if you want to, that's your business. The only risky thing I find is since it's permanent to a certain extent, you kind of have to find an artist that gets your vision. And that's it my friends, these are all the possible ways to do faux freckles. Here's my favorite way. And my least favorite way. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. I keep losing to a moment where I'm with you, I just can't focus. I love to hear your crazy theories about conspiracies on TV.